<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Uh, all right, so I'll tell you what. Let's just go straight. That that screen's messed up. I forgot to do that one. Uh, today's been one of those days. So let's move. Uh, there we go. Let's move to this one. How about this one? Woo! So new stuff here today. Um, what's up, guys? What's up, bud? Uh, yes, man. Well, thank you, man. Uh, mic check. Okay, mic check. Everything good? Uh, let me know if it's not. I'm, I'm shooting out you know, what looks to be good signal, so... <laughs> right, mic check. Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, here's all the new stuff we got. So, sponsors, 30 or 35, and we've got a, a la actual live... What do you mean you can't see anything? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> uh, okay, the stream is black. No, it's it's not, uh, Riley. Um, yeah, okay. All right. All right, so anyway, guys, we got, uh, so we got a real, our real sponsorship, uh, sponsors. Uh, we've got that chucking along. We've got our, all our real sub stuff going on. We just uh, reloaded and had to reboot their stream lab. So uh, it looks like uh, we got a couple of subs there that came in right on the money. So they are welcome to Mr. Jonathan Rayleigh, Chris Clark, and Productions of the Pikachu Ghost. So uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate that a whole lot. Uh, all right, so let's throw some shout-outs here real quick. So if you want to shout-out, go ahead and say, hey, here. I'm going to go back to participants, and we're going to see what's going on. So welcome to the Arnold Claim Reloaded. Uh, I'm actually, uh, this is probably one of my more favorites just because of the train initially. So we're actually going to be, I'm, I'm going to set up a little bit of what we're going to do here, uh, a little bit later. So BFG crazy boater. How are you, man? Aiden, AK the savage. How are you? Uh, old man six. Good to see you, man. One of the sponsors here. Bams 2317, Bandy Biohazard, Blue Type, uh, Bud, Chaz, Colin, Eric, Fact Chief, or actually we'll just call you Chief. Hope you're doing well, man. And Fazel Khan. Hey, what's up? Jack, JB, Joe Barian, one of our other sponsors as well. So thank you uh, for coming in, guys. John, Kenneth LB, Light Alley, 16 Magic Gamer, Matt, uh, Michael Cable, uh, Mr. Built, Nate, Nathaniel, Patrick Johnson. How are you, Patrick? Hope you're doing well. And Productions of the Pikachu Ghost, our latest subscribers. Welcome to you there, bud. Rider Smash Gaming, Riley, and uh, Robert, Ryan, Ryan, Scott, Silly Sally, Simon, Snow Alpha Gaming, Snow, uh, whoa, things, <laughs> things out great. Spicy Lemon, what's up? Uh, Snowy Alpha Gaming, Steps, GM050, Tin Man, Tyler, Walter, Weston, uh, and I think there was some other. Dan Z, what's up? How are you? And AK Sayuk, uh, Sayuk, I think is how you say that. So welcome to all you guys and welcome. So all right, so you may want to know what we're doing on Arnold. Uh, as you know, this is a brand new safe. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way there, Jimmy. So we got, uh, if we've got uh, more guys, Tyler, what's up, man? Mike, Chief, how are you guys? Hope you're doing well. Any updates? No. So tonight will be the last night. Uh, I guess Mikolai was in, I guess he was in, what, Friday's stream? Uh, so he said, uh, new Monday, some small content stuff coming in Monday, as well as some fixes for the, uh, dump truck. If anybody's still having massive issues with the dump truck, easiest way is just to go and start your new save game. Uh, I know it's, I know it's terrible. Um, oh, there's always a hater out there in light alley. There's always a hater. So, uh, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> so somebody just automatically says, Hey, they're doing well over there. I'm going to dislike it. That's okay though. It, it, it is what it is. What's up, guy? How are you, man? And Billy, what's up, FTG? It's up to you there, bro. Hope you're doing well. Uh, well, that sucks there, Magic. Hope uh, everything stays safe there. Yeah, I saw that, Rhinos. Sorry to hear that, man. I uh, lost the championship game, so as long as you had a good time and had fun. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> nope, not really. Uh, all right, so today, the Arnold Claim. Uh, we have been running around a little bit and doing some stuff on... Um, We've been doing some stuff up on Rivertown. Uh, now, today, we're going to move back into Arnold Claim. So, before, uh, we'd had everything kind of uh, at least, well, <clears throat> somewhat everything done. We were starting to finish up this bottom cut here and starting to work a few things. So, I decided I will go ahead and walk out here. We'll do a few things uh, and just see what exactly <clears throat> we're going to be looking at here, um, at least in the terrain section. Uh, I've already gotten a start on it. So, hey, there's uh, Step GM050 like vids. And I like how you do it properly. Well, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Five. Is that British Pounds? I believe it is. Uh, awesome there, Billy. Awesome. Well, appreciate your super chat there, Step GM. Uh, much appreciation there to you, bud. Uh, so, here we've got. Now, I did change it up a little bit from last time. So, 
Uh, last time you saw, we basically had uh, from here and then kind of just went straight across and just kind of cut into the whole thing. I decided we'd do a road around the outside, see how things... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a sponsor, you got a new emote tonight. Uh, so, yes. So, <laughs> y'all got the uh, the save emote courtesy of Mr. Nick T. So, thanks you there to Mr. Nick T for whooping out another emote. Uh, as you can see, sponsorships down 30, 35. Uh, so, that's kind of our goal. I, I'd maybe say like a, a maybe by a week. That's not something today. Uh, subscribers are good. I like subscriber goals. But, um, you know, the subs itself, uh, I want to make sure that I keep guys around and keep guys plugging in the channel. So, I thought sponsors would be a good way to kind of gauge that. So if you guys are interested in sponsorships, if you want to know what they are, if you want to know more about them, uh, please let me know in chat. I'll be glad to explain it. I won't bore everyone with it right off the bat, though, because uh, it's not all about the money. It's not all about doing that here. So, uh, But it is just an easy way to support here, monthly basis, um, with $5, basically a super chat. So that's pretty much it. So anyway, uh, so here it is. We've got uh, most of our train done here. Now, the one thing that I've noticed doing this is since we've – a little bit high on our original level. We're probably going to have to come down here and fill some stuff in. And thing in there is that Traske Lux or Trask's Lux. And thank you for your subscription as well. Uh, I love the real time, man. Actually, so now we won't have to go uh, go back and forth to YouTube and figure out what YouTube's saying. It actually is right there on the money. Hey, what's up, Scott? Man, good to see you, man. Uh, do I want a company for it? I have a company. I'm sure. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, man. Uh, you have to let me know. I mean, what 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 that entails and what it what it means, man. Uh, I'm up for I'm up for whatever. Um, so hang on, hang on to chat for just a second, guys. Let me let me finish this up, then I'll catch up. I'll catch up with it. Uh, so we've got a couple of different things. We've got kind of the hole has already started. Now I'm I'm going to be a little bit. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with the bulldozer yet. Whether or not we tear this out uh, and then build a road in, or whether or not we do what we did before and try to build kind of that swooping road in. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of still on the fence about it. But the one thing that we are going to have to do is load some dirt up in the dump truck, and we're going to have to bring that up here and dump it in front of this, and then we're going to have to push that dirt. So, you know, you talk about it like we're literally today going to start building some roads. So, uh, so I'm actually kind of excited to see what happens uh, on that front because we've never really broken into actually adding dirt to actually, you know, build the road. So once we come down here, it'll come down here. It'll go straight off to the left. And then we'll also come back over here, do the same exact thing on this side, and then we'll pull it back around and have a flat and then have a nice little downhill grade all the way back to the plant. So we'll have two ways, one in, one out, and then some type of a cut down the middle. Um, the way that I'd done it before was we had kind of had this, and then we, I don't know, we kind of made some kind of random funky road off to the side. Uh, today, I, I mean, if we get to, if we wind up start running this dirt, uh, I'm going to say all that around the outside. If we do have some kind of a bridge in the middle, uh, everything else is going to be basically taken out from the inside of that. So that kind of sets up exactly uh, what we might be doing. Uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see kind of what things are. Man, I feel like these things are screaming. Oh, went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Woo, there we go. It's a lot better. I was like, wow, it's going to be loud when I hop in one of these machines. So anyway, let's hop into the dump truck. I have not had a single issue with the dump truck since we ran a brand new save game. Uh, all the glitches I was having before, nada, nothing. Uh, so I think really what they should have done is told everyone to just go ahead and do a brand new save game and we would have been good to go. Uh, but, you know, maybe that's your say. Maybe that's uh, just my experience. Maybe that's not what everyone else has had uh, good luck with. But uh, I'll be interested to see if anybody else has done that. Uh, and tried a new save game, has it helped and has it fixed your issues? So, yeah, Dozer Day, that's it, man. All right, uh, let's, 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 let's catch up just a little bit. Yeah, thank you, there, Steph. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, to do homework, yeah, I can imagine that, Nate. <laughs> um, uh, that's you know uh, some people have, have had that Billy I'm, I'm not some people have that issue some cards are more apt to maybe block this as maybe a fraudulent purchase because it's you know going into something odd um, yeah but I mean you know if you, PayPal is another way it's usually a little bit uh, safer for non-credit card guys that have problems Woo, that's still cranking let me I'm going to turn it down just a little bit here. Uh, kind of coming in, <coughs> kind of coming in the seat of my pants here. We had to get the little one squared away. Uh, she was, uh, took a while. 
<laughs> it's like, oh my god, I got stuff to do. Alright. And let me put this offline so we don't get those notifications from Steam. There we go. I feel like we're finally ready now. Alright, let's do it. Now, I've got I already got a start on here, so... Um, Alright, let me clear that out of the way. Alright. Uh, let's see, I think I'm ready now. <laughs> we'll see. Building roads and rental loads. There you go, man. Hey, what's up, Jace? Uh, I did still. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Still was just saying, uh, for a lot of the bugs, you can actually use that uh, use that bug for um, use that bug for your advantage. Just pull up sideways and still load it in. Uh, honestly, still we started a brand new save game and everything uh, everything started working. So no no bugs, uh, no big huge dump truck issues. Um, at least what I can tell, it seems like everything has just kind of all of a sudden just miraculously started working again. So, I mean, go figure. I mean, I probably should have taken that since they did so much updating to it. Um, but we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll still keep an eye on it and see what happens from here going forward. Uh, but at least as of about three streams from, um, uh, about three streams from, uh, Rivertown, uh, we have not had one single issue. So, Things be good. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? How are you, man? Yeah, it has been a long time. I hope you're doing well there, bud. <laughs> yeah, Daddy Dudes, you're right, Michael. <laughs> I was trying to come in here with a seat, uh, flying by the seat of my pants. I was like, dang, dumb, man. <laughs> it was like, oh, it was 10.30 comes early, man. Plus, we had uh, got an extra hour of sleep last night. So it's daylight savings time. So maybe a lot of the Euro guys will be able to join us. That'd be uh, kind of slick. I know some, some guys are able to get up a little bit early, and some can, some can't. But uh, uh, yeah, I guess it gives us an extra hour. Yeah, Dozer Day. Yeah, we, we yeah. Well, we could certainly do that. Hey, what's up, Blue Vet? How are you? Uh, wait, 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 I missed that. Totally missed that. Uh, risky was. Yeah, risky. It'll be good, man. Uh, if you don't show us um, a controller, so actually, uh, Jack, my controller setup is, is is it's 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 standard, man. There's not a bit of it. Hey, what's up, Chris? Yeah, man, appreciate it. Oh, I'm good, Jimmy, man. I am good. It's good. <clears throat> and I've got um uh, the only thing I've changed though is the uh, the blade uh, for the bulldozer. And I, I usually go over that one uh, quite a bit. Um, so it's it's you know it's pretty cool. I mean it, everything I I don't know I just got to where I learned it and it was it was what it was. So I was like ah, I just keep it like it was you know. Um, typically, I go in there and do that. I wind up crossing myself up at some point or another, and I wind up screwing myself over further than I was before. So, I typically tend to leave controller assignments unless it's something really crazy that it seems backward, like an excavator. Like if it's backwards from what it was in Farm Sim, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no I got to change this back. Um, you get so used to certain stuff that you got to keep it the way it was. So, um, so we're gonna learn a little bit of dirt here in the dump truck, and then we're gonna see if we can't dump it out right here. Uh, and we need we need a little bit of excess right here just to get us going and then once we get up to the top there We'll be good to go. So Awfully dark flannel. Yeah, I'm actually wearing my uh, I'm wearing my German inspired Ich bin shirt. It's all my German friends will uh, will like this one <laughs> How are you man? Oh, we are, Jace. We're going to, well, we, to run the dozer, we got to get some dirt right here. So, uh, once we're able to get a little bit of dirt in here, <laughs> he can be flannel. There you go. <laughs> I am flannel. Righty, please. Congrats. Well, thanks there, Riley. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. So, most of this right here is going to get flattened out. So, that's why I'm just going ahead and, and I'm going I'm to take from the pile that I don't really need. So, <laughs> like a steel dog. <laughs> yeah, actually, and it's true. I actually have a lot of German heritage on my side, and a lot of uh, German uh, heritage in the name and everything else. So, yeah, I mean, it's actually re it's legit. And I even got the shirt in Germany, <laughs> so that's even better. Got it, in Munich. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Warfighter? How are you? Warfighter. Oh, that's not our Warfighter, is it? <laughs> All from Perth. What's up? Oh, we didn't even get no dirt in there. 
her name is. <laughs> well, thank you there, Grizzly. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh, man. Core games, buddy. Man, appreciate that. Uh, that's awesome, man, Core. Appreciate that. So one of our, uh, I believe, sponsor as well. Uh, and then another 20 on top of that. So big old salute to you there, pal. That's, that's an uh, awesome show of support, man. I get that. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> I'll wait for that alert to come up. They just updated all their stuff. I've noticed they're already slow. So hopefully we'll see that stuff come in. I hope. Well, we can't get gold to the plant if we don't have roads there, Andrew. So hopefully we can get us some roads pulled in uh, today. There it is. Core Games checking in with the $20 Super Chats. Thank you there, buddy. It's a, uh, that gets my night started off right. It was kind of a it's kind of a crazy night. I kind of came in here by the seat of my pants, man. So that's one heck of a way to pick up a live streamer. So appreciate that. Uh, do that every month? Well, you, you listen. You do it when you feel like you uh, want to do that. And I will be appreciative of whatever you can do, my friend. And any of that is... Uh, like I said, I, I would be here regardless. And that makes it even sweeter. So... Uh, that just makes me work a little extra harder there, trying to make sure that all this stuff is uh, as good as it possibly can be. So thank you. I appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoy the new stream layout down here. So uh, sponsors, donators, and subscribers will all go in our bottom list here. Uh, so always show us the latest, uh, what, four. Uh, and then after that, uh, you've got the real-time subscription there. So even if you are a private, you'll see that number go up. You won't uh, see your, your subscriber notification come through. Uh, but then we've got our sponsors up there. There's 30 of 35. So my goal is just 35 sponsors uh, by the end of the week, if possible. Uh, although I'm not going to push it. I, uh, people, please feel free if you want to, to do that. Uh, but that's just a little goal. I'd like to try to get there myself. And then subscribers, uh, you know, hey, I, I think 34 is obtainable tonight. So let's just shoot for 6,400 tonight, uh, especially after what it's been the past couple of days. It's been absolutely amazing just kind of watching the sub numbers and watching people comment. You guys comment to the videos. Absolutely. Uh, is It's awesome. I love it. Uh, I, I try to get back and comment to as many guys as I possibly can. Uh, so it's always great to see you guys commenting and throwing out tips like Steel did earlier. Uh, that's just even uh, it's even better. So appreciate it, guys. Oh, here we go. This stupid arm. I think you get locked up in here. Oh, come on. I can't remember what does it. There it goes. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I have to reset this thing. Thank you. <clears throat> Hardblade, thank you for your subscription. Yeah, sometimes I get the uh, the physics. I get too close and the wheels get jammed up. Uh, and then that's what happens. So that's the only thing that is still still lagged that I still have problems with. And that's just because I get that thing way too close to the dump truck. Let's see if we can pull out of there. That's, there we go. Let's try that and let's see what happens. <clears throat> well, thank you there. Football, the Zach Football Day. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Well, you guys are. Um, certainly enjoy doing this, man. I enjoy uh, the <laughs> over the good bird. You can take your order. What's up, Lego? How are you there, bud? Hope you're doing well. There we go. And is that pretty XX? Thank you for your subscription as well. Uh, all right, so here we go. Let's try this. Uh, let's see what this does. I've not really ever done this before. This, this might be a uh, <laughs> bad experience to do on live stream. Where it goes fail. <clears throat> let's see what happens. It might it might work. It might not. <laughs> hey, what's up, Brandon Jower? I'm good, man. I am good. Yeah, <laughs> turtles up it. <laughs> let's not break this one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> It's okay. I've seen this one. I've seen this one a lot. So that, that's that's typical. Uh, every now and again, whenever you get the wheels too close together when they're loading on the side like that, it's like it'll let you go down. It'll let you turn the bucket over, but it won't let you flip it back up and, and relax the uh, hydraulics on the other side until you get them pulled apart. So let's see if this actually drops. Hey, there we go. Look at there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'll tell your brother there, Jason said, hey, what's up, AJ? How are you? Hey, what's up, pretty? How are you? I am doing well. Oh, Trax Lux. <laughs> Trax Lux. Okay. Well, thank you there. Appreciate your $5 super chat on the correction of your name. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's like a $5 autocorrect, so I'm sorry for completely screwing your name up. So Trax Lux is how it's pronounced. Thank you, man. I uh, appreciate it, and I'm glad you enjoy the awesome videos. Uh, I just try to do what I can, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad you guys enjoy these. I enjoy making them. I enjoy streaming this game. Uh, so I hope I hope that con content really continues to flourish on this game, uh, and uh, I really hope I can continue doing it for a while. So, all right. So here's your first bulldoze lesson. <laughs> Everybody's like, "Yes, teach us, young, young master." So usually a little bit of dirt goes a long way if you take your time. And I don't know why it's like this, but it just is. And probably what I really, really, really probably needed to do, um, you know, if, if I had to do it all over again, which I, I really didn't want to, to be honest with you, um, is I probably needed to cut down into the uh, into the ground just a little bit more, um, which actually I, I might get, let's just do that right here. Let me just do that right here. Because we can use the extra dirt uh, and push it straight across. Hey, Raptors! <laughs> Raptor, Raptor sent you, LOL. Oh, well. Wow. Thank you there, Andrew. Appreciate it as well there, bud. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you came through. I'm glad you uh, stopped by, man. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been nice. Raptor certainly throwing a lot of support my way. So much appreciation to him for all of his kind words and his streams and stuff. I can't always talk to you guys. I... I'm usually there. I'm usually lurking or hanging around. Uh, I just can't really say much. I need to got a kid on my lap or, you know, she's crying or <laughs> doing whatever. And I'm just, she doesn't want me chatting. No, Daddy, it's, it's not YouTube time yet. You can do that when you go to bed. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the name of that game. Any, any dads out there know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's move out this last little piece here, and let's see what happens once it gets here. We might be getting close. And the thing of there, Bradley, is that uh, Burn? Bradley Burn? Oh, and Alexander Fetty, you've subscribed as well, and I didn't get your shout-out in there. So thank you there to you, Alexander. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> well, thank you there, Rhino. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll take what we get, and uh, yeah, we'll keep working up to that. We'll keep working up to it. You know, it, it, uh, certainly having your guys here out the past a uh, couple of weeks has been awesome. It's a, it's great for a, it's a great morale booster. I will tell you that. <clears throat> it's been uh, it's been awesome being able to hang out here in these uh, these past live streams. Meet a lot of new faces uh, as well as welcome in a lot of uh, a lot of older faces. Guys, it's been around for quite a while. So some of these guys in in chat, some of the mods, they've been in since like day one. It's it's been it's been nice to see. So hey, DD Master nine one one. How are you, man? Good to see you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Hey, what's up, Trent? How are you, man? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to make it there. It's going to take us a little while just to get this last little hump here. It's like a little bit of a low space here in the terrain. Uh, so I'm going to try to pull up some more dirt here on the edge and make sure we uh, widen this out just a little bit. Uh, we might get some of it here. There we go. Yeah, it's getting better there. And let's the 2828. Thank you for your subscription as well. Oh yeah, controller's way bound. If I need play, yes, controller, yes. Uh, especially if you are going to utilize the controller for the uh, and do a lot of equipment stuff. Um, oh, that gum got it stuck on one of these little. Come on, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That right there will be the one... Th oh, dang it. <laughs> this will be the one thing I'll be glad when they fix. They get this fixed, uh, it's going to be good. Um, those little those little, little spikes and the spikes of uh, dirt and whatnot, I, I hate those, but then you do, they always they always get in there and get stuck up. So, Hey, what's up, Penguin? Uh, we might be do actually doing a ramp today, so you might be able to stick around and hang on because we, uh, we might be able to pull one of those out. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and see what happens here and see we'll see what happens if we pull around the corner here 
Now, a lot of times you pull around a corner like this, uh, you can kind of see how this is working. Um, once you make the turn, this will kind of all flatten out. And we'll kind of start to see how this is going to work now. So you're going to have a, a nice, good flat. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and make it, uh, let's go ahead and make it daylight. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, Walter, I did find an easy way to kind of get rid of the, the ridiculous tailings without... Uh, yeah, I think you guys, if, if y'all were here for the Rivertown, our last uh, live stream episode, uh, we had the sky high, you know, tall, just tailings pond that was just ridiculous. Uh, well, anyway, uh, I went over that with a bulldozer and it just, it just kind of went away. I mean, now I know if you're trying to keep it legit, you're kind of trying to do your thing. Uh, you know, you might, you might want to take that and use the 10 grand from that. Uh, but it still worked really, really, really well. Just having that there and having a having it as a backdrop and being able to just kind of bulldoze it flat uh, and kind of keep it out of the way. It, you know, it deleted some of it. <laughs> the walk of <was> shame. <laughs> yeah, Gerald, uh, remembering our uh, our escapades in our last live stream. <laughs> uh, absolutely, Patrick. Hey, what's up, Charles? How are you, man? Uh, oh, yeah. You sh yes. You know what? I've done that with the excavator. I always forget to do it. Uh, but I got the wise idea one day. I was like, hey, I wonder if this works. And it did. So what Steel's referring to is you can use the shovel uh, to kind of get rid of those little uh, those little pieces. Um, so it does actually, it does work and it does help. So See, so as you move and start pulling dirt from, from place to place, see, now we're actually getting around here and we're almost got a, a fully functioning kind of flat uh, surface here. Except for that one little dip there. We'll push this all the way in the back. And thank you for your sub there. Is that six Norco? Oh. Appreciate your subscription. So I think, yeah, so this is kind of what I was uh, a little bit afraid of. So usually when you come around the outside like that, it does pull it in a little bit. So we'll have to kind of smooth that little bump right there so we don't get uh, so we don't get busted there. Uh, when the uh, rock truck comes around. That's the only thing, because everything out of here, out of the middle, will all get uh, will all get pulled around. So we won't really have to worry about most of this once we get uh, our terrain at least smooth enough and get it out here to where we don't have to worry uh, most of this. Yeah, it can it can all go out there, and that way our turn will be plenty wide enough. We won't have to worry about uh, you know cutting it too close there. <laughs> Standard name. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, good thing it's eleven eleven. <laughs> Your girlfriend's calling. She's mad. Are you watching a YouTuber again? You? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up? Random someone. How are you, man? Hope you are doing well. Good to see you. The one thing I do, I, I, I'm starting on this side just because I want to try to get this done before the dog. <laughs> There's a dog that barks over here constantly. Hey, what's up, BNH? <laughs> Good thing she's sleeping. <laughs> All right, so uh, fuel up, fuel up soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get some gas in her. We probably dug out a little bit more there than we wanted to going around on that particular pass back forth. So um, <clears throat> I still don't even know how that really works. So maybe what we'll do is now that we've got this one smoothed out, I'll work on the other side of the road, uh, and then uh, I, I don't know what what what, what do. Um, what are, what, are, what are you guys in chat? What do you guys want to see? You want to see just continue uh, bulldozer work here? Do you guys want to see some setup here and start getting some of the pieces in? I'm, I'm up for whatever. Um, all of it's got to be done at some point or another. So I, I guess, you know, at some point I'm, I'm, I'm good to do whatever you guys want to do. Hey, what's up, Indian Mustache Game? How are you, man? <laughs> Ping wants to see a ramp. I want to see a ramp, dude. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can't make that happen, man. I know we got to build a ramp down in two, um, and even so, if I do, I, I'll save right before we do it, and then uh, yeah, we can do that. 
Oh, nothing ain't going to blow up tonight. <laughs> it better not. Uh, all right, Steve. Well, I guess sub goal right now, 6,400. Uh, so I, I elected to rather go sponsorship goals. Uh, I thought that was a, a better, just kind of a better, um, uh, not a litmus test, but it was a better, a better number to gauge stream support and just, uh, you know, guy support inside the streams here. Those guys that want to support there with, uh, with monthly subscriberships. Um, and, uh, and then I, I just kind of really started running out of room to put all the stuff I really wanted to. So, um, you know, our, our sub goals typically tend to just kind of bounce all over the place. Um, so I think you know if we're if we're put on 50 in a in a live stream then I'm I'm like way more than happy with that. So all right, let's see let's let's see if I can flatten that out just ever so slightly a little bit more. There we go. Now some of this I'll just go ahead and pick some of this up uh, with the uh, what you call it with the. Um, I'll pick some of this up with the uh, front end loader, uh, and we'll load this up in the dump truck once we start really hauling dirt back and forth. Uh, now, the other option, if you do kind of go along and do something of this nature, you know, along, along these lines, uh, you could use this and put it all into the, uh, the dump truck and go dump it somewhere else if you need to fill a hole uh, or need to do anything like that. So, I mean, it's, it's totally up to you. I mean, it's free dirt. Uh, it all will still wash the same in the plants. It's not like this top dirt is going to be any less valuable than the stuff on the bottom. It just doesn't work that way uh, in this particular game. So, all right. So there we go. That will make our uh, make plenty of a turn there. Oh, it sucks there, Colin. Wow. <laughs> Clear the claim out by a shovel. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's far over there, put him in the ramp. <laughs> Maybe we can get him to drive real fast as shenanigans. <laughs> well, Topsoil does, but I don't believe there's there's not a there's at least as of yet in Gold Rush the game there's not a a difference in that. Now it's randomized, so you may think there's a difference in it, but it's randomized. So uh, certain certain pockets around the claim are going to are going to pay more than others. Um, so that they they at least do have it set up that way. All right, so there's that part. So now we've got a fully functioning, at least straight out. Uh, I could probably clean this up just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And sponsors also, by the way, have a brand new emote. So you guys feel free to spam that save icon uh, whenever you can. Courtesy of Mr. Nick T. So thank you there, Nick. Appreciate it, man. All right, so we'll get this, and let's just push this all right here. <laughs> all right, there we go. Um... Uh, yeah, Cookie Monster. Okay, so all right. Well, I'll go ahead and explain it because uh, people do ask all the time, uh, just because they don't. It's not very clear. So sponsorship basically is uh, if you're on. I don't. It's not on mobile, uh, but if you are uh, on PC or you got a laptop or you know even a Mac, whatever. You've got a desktop PC or a laptop that you're watching YouTube on. There's a green button up there that says sponsor. If you click that sponsor, it'll basically you know tell you hey you're donating basically five dollars per month. It's a one one month, uh, and you have to stop it. So you could decide any time to pull your sponsorship away uh, or not pay pay for it anymore. Uh, but it basically comes out like a super chat. It comes out on a credit card. Uh, but if you choose to to uh, you know super chat or you choose to send something to Streamlabs, uh, anything like that, it's all going to be the same. So, but that's not actually what they consider sponsorship. Uh, sponsorship is like you know Riley Lego there have. Uh, their star by their name there and they're uh, in green so that kind of separates them uh, in the chat as a reoccurring sponsor uh, of the stream so that's kind of how sponsorship works I mean it, it's not like you don't you know you get anything hugely remotely special uh, but you do get singled out as somebody that that does support the stream um, and uh, it's a reoccurring uh, uh, member of that sponsorship yeah if that makes sense I hope I explained that okay but it is still credit card, uh, credit card based so that, that answers that question. <laughs> uh, like when someone, oh, 
yeah, I get. Well, I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't even really do. Uh, I don't do Twitch, so honestly, I, I couldn't even answer that question, really. So, and then you get a lot of really cool remotes to use that are just for sponsors. Um, so that's that's pretty much you know that's pretty much it. And yes, pretty, I am using a PS4 controller. All right, good. It's just playing good. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, almost done here. So it's okay, especially if we're going to be using... The main thing that I want is these little spikes right here gone. Uh, that's my main purpose, what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to get the blade lifted up just a hair, and I want to try to get all of those little uh, little odds and ends there ironed out. Uh, we get all the little spikes ironed out that way, even if we've got little little bumps in there. And is that Evan Goldman? Evan? Evan? Thing there, go and appreciate it, Goldman. Thank you for your subscription. Okay, when you subscribe, actually sub to a Twitch channel. Okay, yeah, because some is different than a follow, so yeah, I, I, okay, I'm with you there, Simon. Oh, so you can, okay, so there you go. So, I guess, guys that are on a mobile app, make sure you're using the YouTube gaming app. Uh, okay, well, that's good, that's good info there. I, I didn't realize that. Okay, um, so here's the deal. Looks like, um, we could be Taylor, is that Poopec? Poopec. Thank you for your subscription. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see, I had the Xbox. Uh, yeah, so right now, um, yeah, so right now, I guess, uh, I, I, I did have the, um, uh, this little thing. I did have the PS4 dongle in there, um, that had drivers and stuff on it. From what I'm hearing people say, you don't have to have that. Um, but mine at the time did. Um, it would not read off of the, the PC now. If they've updated the framework and driver framework to accept PS4 controller as like a default controller with drivers already built in, uh, that would be news to me. I, I can't give you a definitive answer uh, except buy the controller. If you have one, plug it up and see if it works. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you'll probably have to have that. But I, you do use mine with the mini USB. Uh, and it, it works just fine. So, all right. So I'm gonna widen this road out just a little bit here, uh, and then at some point, uh, whether we do it tonight or whatnot, we'll uh, we'll run the front end loader here. We'll kind of smooth out this, uh, and then we'll uh, if we have at least all this, this would be cool. So, all right. So here's a little bit of a schedule update for Gold Rush. Uh, I've been thinking about okay, how do we mesh all of the cool stuff we got going on here with Gold Rush? How do we you know, how do we put a lot of this stuff together? How do we put um, cleanups? How do we put giveaways? How do we put up whatever the case is? How do we put all that stuff up together in a week that makes sense that people can say, look forward to certain things they know are gonna happen. So we've had a couple of sponsors here recently have been ever so kind to donate two giveaways uh, and they've designated gifts, especially for giveaways. Um, it's like last one, uh, PFG Game and Ace had donated uh, the $20 Steam card uh, to be used for a giveaway, so that's what we did. Um, and I've got another one there. Patrick Johnson uh, has gone through and don donated some others there uh, for another special surprise. I'll kind of wait and uh, tell you what that got, what that is once we get there. But what I'm thinking is we'll do our dozing work, we'll do our setup work, we'll do our claim work and also um, uh, our, our gold running. So that way we don't get in these streams where we get caught, you know, running like 18, 19, uh, you know, hours it feels like just literally running pay to the, the plant. So maybe we can do a little bit of both. So like tonight, honestly, I would like to do a little bit more dozing, uh, maybe for the first hour and 15, and then go back to Rivertown, run some more dirt. Because here's what we're going to do, guys. Once we get all three of these back up and running, uh, I would like to take Arnold Claim, uh, Rivertown claim all the gold that we acquire from all the claims put it all in the truck and do a big Friday giveaway where we've worked all week to do what we need to do dig and run and pay from all three separate claims and then pull it all together and have one big major cleanup on Friday which I'm hoping at least for the next three weeks we've got giveaways set up for every single Friday uh, so if you are uh, you know if you're a guy that if you like getting in on uh, being able to sponsor something like that uh, that would be something really cool so if you guys want to do that please feel free to just shoot me a YouTube message 
um, shoot me something. My email is fulltiltfarming at gmail. Uh, and I would, oh, shoot, man. And I'd be glad to talk to you about that. Um, uh, Blade was just a little hair too high there. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, if you're interested in doing that, you normally super chat and say, hey, this week, man, I'd like to do that, but I, I want to I wanna sponsor a giveaway. Uh, if you are another gaming channel, uh, and you know, gaming channels are always like, oh, I want my shout out, and they come in and ask for subs and they don't get it. If you want to ask for subs, then maybe think about sponsoring uh, a giveaway on a Friday presented by whatever, whatever, whatever gaming channel. It's a good way to get a plug, but also uh, if you do enjoy the streams, it's also a good way to show a little bit of support uh, and something that I wouldn't mind. Uh, you know, if you wanted to plug your own channel or something that you're doing in honor of a sponsorship to my channel as well, uh, you know, it's better than coming in and just asking for a shout out. <laughs> Um, so anyway, be thinking about that. It's just something I thought, well, hey, this might be a good way to kind of drum up some extra support on the side as well from just our members that normally donate and that kind of thing. So if that is interest, just contact me uh, and then uh, we can get that set up through PayPal or something like that. It makes it really easy and that way your money goes the further. So uh, just a thought. So anyway, other than that, guys, can't think of anything uh, except be looking on Fridays to be our big cleanups and our big uh, our big kind of Friday night events. I want those to be big old. I want them to be a lot of people in here, a lot of people kind of hanging out, having a good time, kind of looking forward to what is going on throughout the week. That's kind of the idea. I love watching Gold Rush and uh, looking forward to that Friday cleanup when they've worked, uh, you know, and they're looking for, uh, you know, they're looking for their payday. So it's cool. All right. I feel like I'm just keep chewing up so much dirt here, man. This this road right here has been this has been a toughie. This has been a toughie. Oh man. <laughs> Wow. Well, thank you there, uh, Core Games second account sponsor. Wow, man. <laughs> that is some crazy big old support, man. That's wow. I'm I'm a little speechless on that, man. Appreciate that. Wait for that big old. I wish that would come in a little faster, man. I feel like everybody's like, oh, it's kind of wore off. <laughs> well, thank you there, Core. I appreciate it, man. It's awesome. Hey, what's up, Travis? How are you? Point you third. <laughs> well, that's not a question of whether I want it. Uh, that that's that's up to you, man. I'm I'm never gonna. You you've, you've supported a lot already, man. Oh, well, nice, George. Nice, man. Well, hey, if you ever get anything, I have to let me know what they are. Maybe we can uh, feature a map there on the Mud Runner here on the channel, man. There it is, Core Games, second accounts. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Oh, Core, man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, if they've got, if they've got, I know Mudrunners was having some issue with the way their, their, their maps and multiplayer maps and all kind of other stuff were going. Uh, I'll have to do some more research to see if I can get on that. But yeah, I mean, if you've got it, um, Google Drive or Google Doc or something like I'm not a Google document. <laughs> we got on Google Drive or something. Yeah, man, I'd, I'd be glad to try it. All right, so I think this is going to be about as good as I can do here. Well, we're bulldozing Arnold Claim, trying to get our main roads. I want to get them somewhat cleaned up, cleaned out, get them ready to rock and roll here. Um... I'm actually checking to see if my sponsor number moves up. That's what I'm I keep looking over there to see if it moves up. It kind of updates about the same as the old subscribers, so it might take it a couple minutes before it does. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you there, Ant. Appreciate that, buddy. Always good to see you, man. I appreciate you always stomping in and hitting that like button, man. It's all, uh, that's good, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing well, Travis. Good to see you, man. Tyler, what's up, man? How are you? All right, so let's do this last little smooth out right here, uh, and then I think we'll be done at least with this section. We'll go over work that other section, uh, and then we'll be done, at least with this part. We got the wraparound part, but that's not going to be too bad now that I've actually got uh, the, the sides level. That's, that's usually the, the hardest part. And actually, I just thought about this. What, what would probably make more sense? Double A out. All right, man. I'm kidding. RC Blogs 21st. 
Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, core, core game. Oh, that was sponsored. Sorry, I, I read the wrong thing there. <laughs> Never mind. Have you ever driven a bulldozer? No, I have not, Nate. Uh, I've driven track codes and driven uh, some of the bigger earth movers, Volvo brands, and a um, couple of back codes, uh, John Deere back codes, but I mean, nothing nothing extravagant. But uh, And that's all mainly just for play. I never actually did that for a job. I just had a, enough knowledge of how some of this stuff works, and I have enough knowledge in the game of how it works to kind of get get by. <laughs> uh, if I if I can, yes, I will. Um, the main thing I wanted to get in tonight was um, I wanted to get some of this pushed over, and I wanted to get the road cut. That was my main thing. So if I can get the road cut tonight, then I feel like I'm going to be um, I feel like I'm going to be in a good spot tonight. Uh, road, sometimes, at least on this one, the road cut around is is pretty. Uh, it's, it, it can be hefty. It can be. The main thing is you want uh, you want to try to have everything be the same level, if you can if you can help it. Uh, it doesn't always work, but if you can have everything be the same level, it's better to start in one area and literally go all the way back around without stopping, uh, just to ensure that everything stays on the same level. Um, and I guess we'll just go right here and um, just keep pushing it there. Chrissy Stone, thank you for your subscription. Much appreciation. I about said bub, but with a name like Christy, I was about to say you're probably not a bub. <laughs> Excuse to say I'm bub. All right, so good. I'm not even going to have to add dirt. This is going to work out perfect. So this should uh, just go ahead and clean right off to the edge. Uh, and then we can take all any other dirt there, do the same thing with it. There it goes, and shoo. and go a little bit slow here, and then it'll, it'll there we go. Wow, nice. All right, so there's our two. So uh, basically, what this came this this claim is going to look like, at least for right now, we're going to have an upper tier section that we'll be able to dig from with the excavator on, and then load the the bulldozer in. But also everything here, well, I'm I'm drawing on screen like you guys can see. Um, but everything in the middle of these two claims or these two things, we're going to join and cut that all the way up to where it's cut out in the middle. So uh, this will essentially be like one big hollowed out claim. So it should be cool. It's a little different than it was before, which I, you know, I think is going to be fine. Uh, it will be, a, it'll be a, a little bit of a different spin on what we had originally. So uh, I don't think either one is going to work any, any more or less better. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you there too, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than reading the aviation weather info, man. Oh my god, I remember that class. Aviation weather and meteorology. Oh my god. <laughs> if I've got to read another terminal area forecast, I'm going to croak. <laughs> Hey, and Billy Kipple. Well, there it is, man. Well, thanks there, Billy. I see you got her working, man. So thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> so much info. You are right, man. You're right. And welcome to a new big sponsor there, Mr. Billy Kipple. So thank you there, bud. I almost want to call you Jimmy Kimmel with a name like Billy Kimble. <laughs> uh, yes, Kane, I am. Yankee fan, 1085. Good to see you here in stream as well. And thank you for your subscription. Miller Inc., what's up, man? Good to see old faces and nice to see fresh faces. Boom! That actually kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting it. That kind of scared me. Actually, all my friends coming. <laughs> God, God, God. Is that maybe it's call you DJ? Okay. I think, I think that's what you meant to put in there. <laughs> All right, so there's the there's the edge right there. So let's 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 get off that edge just a little bit. There we go. Oh, nice, Kane. Very nice. Yes, sir. Well, enjoy the all the emotes and enjoy uh, enjoy whatever it is you want to enjoy as a sponsor. I appreciate it uh, and much appreciation all you guys and your support. It's absolutely fantastic. So, oh man, we uh. We hit us a nice dirt clump there. They didn't want to go anymore. There we go. All right. Uh, 
Uh, can you tell you something? As long as it's safe there, RC, you know, family-friendly kind of content, you know, I'm okay with it. As long as it makes everybody laugh. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're going to have to put us. No, I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, go, go ahead as long as it's, you know, not ridiculous. Uh, thank you for helping with my wife's question theme. Theme, uh, Stephen Sanders. Oh, is Michelle your mom? How <laughs> uh, <laughs> about them cowboys? He's not a cowboy fan. Oh my god! Unsubscribe! Unsubscribe! Yeah, keep, keep it BG, please. Oh, no problem there, 57 Gaming. How are you, man? You guys are doing well. It's good, good to see everybody tonight. Welcome to the stream. Maybe wondering what in the world are you doing? Looks like you're just pushing dirt around aimlessly around in the desert here. Well, we 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 kind of are, but we're not doing it aimlessly. There is a rhyme to the reason. Uh, so if you want to pick up some bulldozer tips, then uh, just come on in and hang out for a bit. Uh, we'll see what we uh, we can't learn you something on the old dozer of bulls here. Hey, what's up, Matt D? How are you, man? I'm back to the mom game. But she's one. Oh, it's not your mom. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, well, yeah, I thought it was cool, man. I thought it was cool. I mean, and it seemed to be the uh, the overall consensus here in chat too that it was cool as well. I mean, I think uh, I think a lot of gamer dudes would have, uh, you know, I think all the gamer dudes even. I don't, I don't care if they deny it or not, man. Everyone's a little bit of a mama's boy at heart, so it's uh, it's one of those things, man. To have my mom to do that. My dad played, which was fine. I I, I love the heck out of my dad being able to play games with me, and he wasn't no good at it, but man, he he sure gave it a valiant effort. But yeah, to have my mom do it, and then be able to stream and then be able to do it all together as a family and you know most times like I told her most of the time all the moms are just out there just fussing at everybody get out pick with planners games so you know actually have one that was like yeah let's just do it together uh, yeah that's cool man and I know I know Travis is what I'm saying we're, we're talking about the, the conversation uh, there the other night it seemed to be the overall consensus from everybody that that was, uh, that was, that was a cool move well, that's good, man. That's good. I'm, I'm glad I helped. I had no idea if it would or not, but, you know. Killed a turkey with a tomahawk. Good gravy, man. That's so barbaric. Ah, we're good on the fuel, man. We're from the south. We got we, we can run her down until she's about five on empty. Hey, what's up, Ronald? Ronald Harms. I know another Harms. Hey, what's up, Bare Bones? How are you? Oh, nice there, son. Yeah, I've done, I've done that before. All right, so I, I don't like how this dirt is on the side, but I, I'll just come, I'll pick that up, or I will smooth it out in my own time, and I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, I just want to try to get... I really want to try to get this road done. If I get this road done, then we'll go back. We'll uh, we'll switch some machines over. Uh, we can neither load out here. We can go run some pay over at Rivertown. Just got some stuff over there we can do uh, as well. So, plenty of things to do. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Hey, Joe Mac, what's up, Strato uh, Strato Driver? What's up, man? Good to see you. One of our uh, more recent sponsors. So welcome there to you. Enjoying the fine live stream. Well, thank you, man. We're enjoying your fine company as well there, Bear Bones. Had to change your name. Well, I hear you. I hear you. You got you a new, uh, a new, yeah, there must have been a, a lot of Michelles, I can imagine. <laughs> Third down. Oh, boy. Got a feeling. 12 point. I hear you, man. Um, I'm starting to believe, uh, Yes, <laughs> I did, Strato. I did, but I, honestly, it was a good thing because it fixed everything. Um, it fixed every single one of my issues. Um, I didn't have any more dump truck issues. I didn't have. Um, I didn't have any more nasty glitches. Uh, I didn't have nothing. So uh, 
you know, as far as I'm concerned, it was it was a good move. I hated to do it because we'd done so much bulldozer work. And, you know, after you do something like that the first time, you're so proud and so happy of it. Uh, and then you come back into it, and it's like, man, it's just, just not the same. But, uh, but it, it's okay. It's okay. It was a little hard the first night. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That <laughs> guys that may have been in stream the first night, I was back over and stuff. They were just. I think they could see that I was just like, this isn't my river town. This isn't it. But <sighs> it'll suffice. <laughs> you know, it's a town with a river in it. Whoop de do. Uh, yeah. So that that was that, that was kind of tough. I, I will have to admit, there's a lot of hours reported into that first river town, but um, probably should have been something I should have been more aware of. <laughs> Uh, I'm from the south, but I don't like Dallas Cowboys. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't like the Dallas Cowboys like I don't like the Carolina Tar Heels. Let's see. Let's see our subscribe numbers start ticking backwards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, see, I, we we took a little family time last night. I, I got some rest and. We went out and did a few things, which was nice, just to kind of get away. So, um, yeah, I, I normally stream at usually six days out of the week, and I usually reserve one of those weeks out of the. Um, I usually, usually reserve one of those out of the week for a little, little family time. Try to catch up on some sleep and that kind of thing. So, it's all good. If anybody has got any questions, contact contact Tim. Uh, college football, gosh, man, I, I really don't have a a super duper. When I, went to, when I went to college, it, it, the, the football team just wasn't that good. I mean, I went to Appalachian, but, you know, now they've got, like, you know, some championships under their belt. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't like a – I wasn't a diehard football fan. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Hey, what's up, Dissonant? 16, 1672. Oh, and Eagle Wolf Gaming. Sorry, that was you. And next one's coming in. There he is, Dissonant 1672. So, thank you for your subscriptions, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up, William? How are you? Ah, you're a Tar Heel fan. Uh, of course. No, I'm speaking. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like Duke. Uh, if I don't know. If I had football team, oh, man, I, I don't know, man. I, I just don't watch a lot of football. Football just takes so much time. I'm more of a college basketball fan. That's really where that's really where my heart lies. Uh, and, of course, there, it's, it's Duke for me all the way. Hey! Stage three, well, congrats, Drat. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love the email updates, man. <laughs> it's it's kind of like, you know, Christmas tree presents and Santa's making it and letting you know what <laughs> where he's at in the process. It's like, all right. <laughs> Let's turn a little bit of lights on here. So, I've, you know, I haven't quite figured out. I, I've been trying to test this a couple times tonight to see what the overall effect is now my viewpoint on this is whenever you mess with the bulldozers guys that maybe haven't done it that much um, it seems to typically work the best if you keep going over the same area in the same direction if I were to switch the terrain direction and go back the other way I think I'm chasing my tail so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt uh, to work out this section and then move to that next section and kind of try to blend them all together. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and some of this I may just on this far end of the cut here, it's not completely prudent right now that we do this because um, we definitely can move off and do a few other things. And I don't want to I don't want to bore everybody, um, you know, especially. I mean, some some people like the bulldozer and other people are like, oh my god, if I got to see him run over that spot one more time, you know, I'm going to leave. So um, I, I don't I don't I don't like to just constantly do this and see I keep running these little high spots too trying to smooth them out so I don't want to I don't want to create a lot more work for myself than I already have most of the time it deletes the dirt pretty well but it seems like today man all it's going to do is uh, replenish the dirt <laughs> so it better be amazing well I don't think you're going to be uh, I don't think you're going to be dissatisfied Stratum uh, I think you're going to be impressed. Tech support, too, if you ever have problems, man. It's 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 awesome. They 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 have been the absolute best when it comes. I had just a few issues where I think I originally, honestly, had a bad Windows load in installation. 
Um, and it passed, you know, the initial test, it passed when I got the computer. Uh, not until I started actually installing and running a lot of my own stuff. Uh, it could have been something that I did very, very, very early on, but um, called those guys, man, they remotely did the whole entire thing, fixed it, did a whole brand new reboot, brand new windows, brand new everything, updated everything. I was out the door for free. It was it was awesome, man. I, I, just, could, I just want to say, man, I, there's something to say. I mean, if, if a company can give you good a good price on a computer, that's good, but if they can give you better tech support uh, and kind of win you over that way, that's, that's somebody to keep. Hey, what's up, Thomas? How are you? Ha! <laughs> All right. We, we, you know, no. We're just going to pray for you, Ryan. We're just going to pray for you. <laughs> no, man, it's fine. I, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't mind those things. I, I'm not. I'm not a, one of those diehard like you know. I lose friends over college basketball. It just, it doesn't matter. Uh, greater, yes, uh, and and to an extent, this this can smooth. The problem is. Uh, is I took a little bit too much dirt, so I'm, I'm having a little bit of excess here that I wouldn't normally have. Uh, so I'm trying to smooth and push all this in. And essentially, what you do is you literally push it right back into itself, and then you got to come back out and you got to smooth another one over again. And it just kind of, you know, just kind of like snowballs from there. Um, so, I, you know, like I said, a couple more passes here. I know my outgoing road is done, so we don't even have to do any more dump truck loads or anything for that. So. This can be a little bit of a tedious process, but once you get this done, it's so nice to have this road here. Because um, then you can pull the roads off of this back up into the claim. Don't have to worry about it. So great. Can't get the hang of it yet. Well, the, the biggest thing, Mars, is little bit by little bit. Um, and honestly, I probably need to go ahead and let's just go ahead and make it daylight again. Now, yeah, it's going to be getting dark. Hey, what's up, Dost Dustin? How I said Dalston. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, with those urban. Yeah, well, I was trying to, I was trying to even out there instead of just kind of barely, just you know, glazing right over the top there and having to keep adding in dirt. So, um, being able to do that, I, I you know, it kind of was what it was. I, if I had, like I said, if I had to do over again, I might would do that a little different. But it is, yeah, it's fine. Hey, what's happening, John? How are you, man? Good morning from Denmark, 5.43, the Danish Viking. Well, we don't daylight savings time, so it's an hour earlier for me. So, Danish, you're getting in like an hour earlier in stream than you normally are. I think we're, uh, well, I guess we're minus 5 GMT now, I think. Oh, yeah, good good point there, William. Go ahead and save. So, we got the starts of our road here. Uh, we'll make this a little wider to make room for that rock truck going up in here. But we'll have basically an in, uh, an exit uh, exit and a entryway into the claim. So we'll have this this road going all the way around, uh, and then hopefully all that will be at the same. Now we've got a few ridges in here we need to you know need to kind of take care of and push into the uh, outer laying areas there. Uh, but at some point that my goal is to have that be the wall that everything else gets dug out around it. So uh, we'll see we'll see how that happens and we'll see how that plays off. I, I hope it works out well. We were kind of starting to do that before we uh, started a brand new save game. So. Uh, if those guys just joining us here, kind of wondering, you know, what the kind of what, what the lay of the land is, what we're doing today. That's what we're doing, um, at least here. So, for those that are just joining, you just need to spin out. There you go, man. <laughs> there you go, Wisconsin. I hear you, Alabama. Good morning, Dawson, awesome, man. Yeah, I think you'll be happy there, Strato. Uh, I really do. Um, yeah. I, you never can go by what you read on the internet uh, from, you know, from them. <laughs> they never read, never read uh, the own company's review about their own tech support. You know, it's like, yeah, well, of course y'all are going to pat yourself on the back. <laughs> of course y'all do a good job. Uh, but yeah, being able to talk to somebody else that has actually used the tech support and has come across with glowing remarks, yeah, that kind of that kind of carries a little bit more weight. So, um, yeah, I can tell you what my personal, uh, you know, my personal stuff with it was was really good. So uh, I think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. You know, that's, that's kind of what I would say. Hopefully, you won't have to use tech support, but if you do, there they. All right, so that's actually looking pretty good there. So we've got just a little, uh, a little here and there. 
See if we can kind of smooth some of that out. We'll try to push some of this over. So once you've got this, you, the kind of the good thing too is try to get rid of anytime you've got a runoff like this. Go ahead and try to get as much of what you have pushed off of there. Uh, now I'll go ahead and once we start running pay, I'll bring the front end loader over here, the excavator, and I'll start digging all this stuff around the outside. Uh, and I'll just run it up to the plant. Um, I don't I don't have a problem at all doing that. Oh wow, 548 Norway. Man, all speed guys, uh, go and get up for me. If you did, that's pretty awesome, but. Uh, wait a minute, did I restart? <laughs> yeah, sorry man, I totally missed that, Dwayne. <laughs> And there's Mr. Andrew Douglas. Thank you for your subscription there, Andrew. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Uh, I, I guess I can I can rehash that one out again. Uh, I started a new one just because we had so many problems there. Um, just trying to get things loaded in. Just trying to, uh, you know, I, it was just, you know, I mean, I, I think you were there, Dwayne. In Rivertown, we just had so much nasty just bugs going on. Uh, and I felt bad because, you know, I was kind of putting a lot of stuff on, on uh, Mikolai, uh, you know, game dev that's been coming in, uh, you know, recently, you know, really late on streams. And, and I kind of felt bad. I was like, I don't, I don't, I just don't feel like it. So we spent literally one episode uh, just doing like, we, we should have called it digging ditches and fixing glitches. You know, it was, it was just one of those episodes and we couldn't find anything. So that, I mean, that really made a concrete difference. Uh, so what I did, I came back in and then uh, started a brand new save. Uh, you know, got some gold in. We, you know, we went in and we wound up getting a new dump truck. We went ahead and bought some new claim stuff there in Rivertown. Uh, and then once we did all that, we started testing out. And the dump truck worked fine. All the, the big glitches that I'd have had were fine. So, yeah, I mean, we had the one thing with the with the tailings, though. Y'all y'all not going to let me, uh, y'all not going to let me live that up, man. <laughs> A long walk of shame. Yeah, that was a good one, man. If you haven't seen it, uh, I won't waste everyone's time rehashing it out. But go, uh, go watch about I guess about halfway through there on our the Rivertown 2.0. This uh, next to last video here, um, it was it was a good one. I had a walk from the Arnold claim all the way back to Rivertown. Let's just say that it was just a random like I was just trying to clean the tailings out. It's like I'm just trying to clean the claim up. <laughs> Yes, the hood is back on. Yes, right, man. Yeah, Brian says it's worth it. Go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you for welcoming them in there, uh, Strider. Appreciate that, man. Always great to see you sponsors, man. It's not required, but it is nice, man, when you guys go ahead and welcome new subs in. And that goes for anybody there in chat. Uh, I definitely want this a place to be where guys can come in and feel welcome uh, and feel like they actually are wanted and they, uh, you know, got a place here. So, uh, especially all those new subs, guys new watching here. Love to see you in chat. Uh, go ahead and you throw anything up there, as long as it's Gold Rush related or at least conversationally related. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, but everybody's welcome to throw something here in chat, as long as you're respective uh, to everybody's opinions and uh, you give them the same courtesy they give you. We're all, we'll all be good here. Uh, got some of the best moderators in the biz. They're really fantastic. So uh, it should be it should be a good environment. So. Uh, if you want to go ahead and say hey, go ahead and say hey, man, been watching here. Hey, I'm new. Whatever. Uh, let me know. Even if you subbed, if you keep your subs private, let me know. Go ahead and throw it up there in chat. That was 60. What is 6386? So we got 14 subs left there. Our goal is 6400. Uh, 32 out of 35 sponsors, and I'm really just kind of shooting for that for the weekend. So that's not going to be a nightly goal, uh, but it is something that we're going to kind of be shooting for at least this week. So. Uh, maybe I'll say each week we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll we'll try to, I'll try to push for some more sponsors and for the channel, and that's just a really good way for me to kind of know uh, monetarily what is going to be coming in the next week, so I can kind of plan. Uh, we've had some sponsors that have wanted to give away uh, some of their hard-earned money to be able to do giveaways with me for Fridays uh, and Goldstream stuff. So Peter Simpson, thank you for your subscription there, pal, uh, and I appreciate it, man. 
Uh, welcome to MTG United. Welcome to the crew, man. Man, we see we got a couple. See, that's the theme. I love the the automatic uh, sub counter. Just pew, pew. hey, we just put on two, so that way we don't have to guess anymore. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I'm looking more forward to that than anything else. <laughs> So for those that may just be joining, I'm going to be saying this. If you guys that are already here have heard this before, I, I hate to I hate to like say it, but I want to make sure that I uh, throw it up there enough to where people know what's happening. So typically with me, I've just kind of done whatever's kind of just come to my mind, uh, whatever I'm feeling it today. So that's going to change from today. Uh, so today's going to start a fresh new week. So here's uh, I tell you what, let me just start with the bulldozer for a minute here, and I'll I'll let me lay all this out real quick. Um, so usually I, I would like to take off a day of the weekend just for family, that kind of stuff. Um, so after that, I will do um, Friday nights is going to be our big clean out. So uh, if we do big clean outs on Friday or if we do uh, some type of a giveaway on Friday, we're not going to do gold cleanups every single night. So um, we'll work all week long between our claims and then we'll combine all of those gold counts and all of that gold in all of our buckets and all the mats and everything we've got from whichever claims we've got working we'll bring it all to a centralized location and then have a big guess on all the gold that we've gotten throughout the week so it's going to be a little bit slow here as we get our other claims in working condition uh, but when things really do start uh, kind of mosey on down the line here it's going to be something that everyone i hope is going to look forward to on friday so i hope for you know big crowds on friday nights that kind of thing um, so we'll continue our work throughout the week, Monday through Friday, uh, depending on hopefully that new content starts rolling out, that we can kind of feature that as well as putting it into the claims themselves. Uh, so just kind of just what I'm looking at here for the future, uh, give you guys a 4 on one on that so you know what's coming up. So uh, look at the thumbnails. I always put in the thumbnails what my main focus is going to be, uh, whether that's running pay between plants, whether that's running doing this. Um, the fuel is low okay all right all right all right all right <laughs> so that's what i'm kind of thinking about doing uh and i think that will work good uh and it'll give you guys uh an opportunity to know that friday's gonna be something 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 else. so i've got three weeks of giveaways so far actually four four weeks of giveaways already planned uh and those are sponsor led so some of our sponsors have uh gone above and beyond the call and they've actually, instead of, uh, say, super super chatting or sponsoring me for something, they've decided to give money so that I can go get a giveaway to give to the community. So uh, that's why I say it's pretty cool what they're doing. You guys also, when I uh, feature those guys and tell you who they are and stuff, it's always a good thing to have. So Swear Grills, thank you for your subscription there. Bud, appreciate it. Already up 6390. Awesome. Keep them rolling in, guys. That is great, man. That is absolutely fantastic. So... Uh, so that's something to look forward to that as the weeks, uh, uh, as the gold rush progresses here. Um, something we'll start doing. I'm looking forward to it, so I hope you guys do too. And let's get some gas here in the old dozer. Boop. So as of now, look for Sunday to be our kind of our start to the work week, depending on what else uh, game-wise comes out. I mean, we may not always be doing this every night, uh, but if it is, if it is uh, what we have here for the next uh as long as this content keeps rolling out which i'm looking forward to uh we'll see what's going on so jacob what's up man how are you 10 away we can do it yeah eight away now so jack is that malik thank you for yours and we got one more two more coming in kong toffetti is that right toffetti toffetti all right welcome to you there kong appreciate it man and one more rolling in here as we're putting a little refuel there he is, Mr. Alan Thompson. So thank you, guys. Appreciate that. That is much appreciation, man. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> when it comes out, okay, man. <laughs> on the couch. Justin's on the couch. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, Brian? How are you, man? Man, what's up, Derek? Thank you, man. Derek Renfro. Hope you're doing well there, bud. Well, thanks there, AJ. Just kind of catching up here with chat there while we're waiting on the bulldozer to fill up here. <laughs> uh, for Don oh, the cap off. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to fueling up this thing. <laughs> How are you, Brian? Man, hope you're doing well. 
All right, now things all. There you go. That'll make some of y'all a little more happy. <laughs> there it is, Alvaro Ramos. Love the names, man. Love how those just it's got a roll to them. Uh, what would I like to see? What's my opinion? What I like to see added to the game? Oh, well. That's a loaded question, man. Uh, I, honestly, I, I, you know, I really don't know what to say on that one. There, there's a couple things. The bulldozer dump truck was a big one. Um, and actually, oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Save game. <laughs> That's why you guys have the emote. Rem have the emote. Uh, so the one thing, I guess, uh, about this that I always wanted was a place that you could take, do a dump, uh, take the dump truck and actually dump in. Now, that was partially our idea of what we have now with the conveyor belt system and the uh the the entryway i think it was mainly supposed to be like an open hopper that you were to dump in with the front end loader but they folded one end down and then and then basically three-sided it uh there for us because that was one of my requests when uh, mikolai came in so he said that partially some of that was for us so that's cool that he came in and actually took one of our ideas and implemented that into the into the game um so that's that's really cool actually so anyway, uh, that was the really the one thing that I really, really wanted. Anything else I feel like at this point is just going to be icing on the cake, honestly. Uh, I mean, it, all they need to do is just keep coming out with stuff. That's, that's all they need to do. Just keep coming out with content. Keep rolling small things out, small fixes out. The seasons are going to be really awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and that's where we're actually going to have ice on the claims. And the Ripper is actually going to have a purpose. So that's going to be cool. Um, so, uh, is, and, and I would say, uh, the one thing else, and I'm going to catch up there with chat as well. The other thing that I think is going to be really cool is the mechanic system. Uh, so they're going to bring out some really awesome mechanic system where we're actually going to have maintenance. We're going to have, uh, a, a multitude of things we're going to have to keep up with, uh, as well as random breakdowns on the plants, on the machines that will literally stop them from working and we'll lose gold. So I just say your trauma goes out. We start losing gold of all that water and it washes all that dirt out. Um, but you'll have to race back, go get a chain, put your new chain on that kind of thing. So what you see in gold rush, the I mean the, uh, the movie the show, not the movie, good Lord, what you see in that and how those guys have to react pretty quick to stuff like that. That's kind of, I think what's coming into the game. So I think those are going to be really cool to see. Uh, and I'm really, I'm really, either or on either one of them I, I, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to me i'm gonna I'm be happy with it hey what's up leather G? yo how are you man uh bare bones uh just because they have not gotten the maintenance upgrades yet uh so all that stuff is left to blank as that comes alive so with your oil pressure because <laughs> um, right now we don't have to do oil maintenance we don't have to do oil filter maintenance or anything like that uh so once that does become part of the game uh, then you'll see oil pressure gauges working. Hey, what's up, Jace? How are you? Hey, what's up, Kong? How are you? Uh, multiplayer, yes, will be in Gold Rush 2. That's, that's, uh, that's right. That is correct. All right, let's see. I don't want to get too deep. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking, you see how this goes underneath the ground? If you want to keep that blade right above it, uh, maybe just right in there, that's usually a good place to do some smooth over work. Especially if you're just trying to get rid of those last little minute spikes and whatnot in the ground. So, I actually think for right now, I'm happy with this for right now. So, let's do this. Let's, um, um I don't know if I can. All right. Y'all want to see how to build a ramp? Let me show you how to build a ramp. Let's save it. Always save before you do anything like this. Because if you mess it up, it's an easy load and then you're right back to where you were. And you can try it again. So contact Tim, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something to make me get even less go. Hey, y'all know my cleanouts, man. Y'all 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 know, man. <laughs> okay, so the biggest thing about doing a ramp is you cannot really build a ramp successfully going down to up. Not anymore. You used to could, not anymore. Um, so the, about the best way I found to do a ramp is go from up to down. So start here. Now I'll show you this because I always, um, yeah, Jacob, I actually, un um, yeah, I actually unblocked you, uh, and I unblocked your brother. So I give you all a second chance. So if there's one more thing about the boat, man, I'm done with it. I'm just, 
Uh, no, it's not on PS4. You know, it's not. Um, so one more, one more, note, uh, you know, note about the vote, man, and, and I'm I'm done with it. Uh, I've given y'all like a multitude of chances, mods of which I'll get away with it. So uh, I'm not going to worry with it anymore. So the easiest thing to do is go to your settings, go to controls. Go to controller and then customize controller and then go back over to bulldoze. Now, um, this is the thing that I like. This is the thing with mine is is bulldozer is blade up and blade down. I take to L1 and R1. If you're playing on Xbox controller, LB and RB, uh, that's a good way that you can use the steering rotation of the thumbstick and it does not interfere with the blade control because a lot of times that's what screws people up too. Now, if you're playing on a keyboard, it doesn't matter. Because uh, you've got those individually set on keys anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but if you're playing on the controller, that does matter. Um, all right, so so from here, um, you can lower your your you can lower this all the way down. The thing that happens though is when you push R1 and hold it down, you hear the hydraulics keep pushing the blade down. So if you get all the way over on the end, you got to start it in the same spot every time. But if you hit it down and hold it down and then gas it you will start going downhill. Now, once you get to the end, you gotta, you almost gotta feel like yourself, you're gonna, you're gonna have to like get lucky. And I think we got lucky. Oh, we got freaking lucky. <laughs> so there you go, so there's your ramp. That's how you make it. Um, I hate to say, yeah, just like that. It's just easy peasy, but it really is. Um, the hardest part, is is building both roads to go down like that um so <clears throat> typically once you get up to the very top oops once you get up to the very top you can see right here how there's just like this little indentation uh so that little indentation is exactly where you have to start on the next one going down now the thing i'll say about this right now is if 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 i push it down now i'm not going to dig anymore on this right side it will not dig anymore on it It'll only dig what's on the left side, so I can keep as long as I start in the same spot. I can keep going over that same spot, and it will just continually keep smoothing it out. It will not continue to keep digging. So uh, think of it like this. It'll only give you a certain grade. After that grade is done, uh, it will not let you dig anymore. So it's not like, you know, take this, you dig through, you dig through, you dig through again, and it starts doing like this. It doesn't work that way. And so if, if you dig the first time and you're, like, way high, then you need to back the bulldozer up and then start and then start it again and then see what happens um it takes practice to figure out when it does and actually right now i'm gonna go ahead and save since that was a really good pull there and we'll save um, that way if this one screws up i can come right back to it and fix it so hey, it's okay if you push it down to here it's fine Cause you can always grab the, uh, oh, oh shoot, you can always grab the front end loader. Uh, you can always grab the front end loader and do the same thing with it. Just pick it right up, dump it off, uh, smooth it up right there at the end. That way you got a nice, good, smooth uh, on ramp. So, uh, can have computer been trying to figure out how and no luck. All right, so Trey, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the only way, if you want to do it wirelessly, you gotta buy a PS4 stick. Um, if you want to do it the other way, the charge cable that you use for the PS4 looks like something like this, plugs into the back. Uh, that plugs into the USB um, 3.1 or the 2.0. I think it mine works either way. I don't think it matters. Um, but that's the only two ways that I've ever gotten it to work. Typically, if we wind up getting like this, where we've got a little bit of dirt uh, going down there, I'll just go ahead and push it all the way out here to the edge. Uh, then I'll lift the, uh, I'll lift that up, and that way I'll just come with the friendly loader. We'll just, we'll just get all that out. Um, I'll see you there. Gotta go to bed, school, and wrestling. All right, there, spicy. We'll have a good in there, bud. Good to see you as always. All right, let's see. Let's let's see if we can continue. The easiest way too, always. Don't get overzealous. Don't take off a bunch. Just take off a little bit. You don't need. You don't need a. You don't need a huge mama jamma cut here. Just take off a foot at a time. I know it sounds. Oh, that's too much work. Trust me. It's too much work when you got to go back down and then redo it all over again.
<laughs> yeah, it, it is. It, it is unrealistic, and I mean, it's it's okay, but there's there's no way uh, this you know this this terrain does not act like dirt. So it's fine, random. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I could. Um, you could. You could do that. Um, I typically just. I mean, the curve sometimes is a little bit tough in in here, but it's only tough because the bulldozer sometimes has those little you know little dirt balls on them, and sometimes that can create a uh, a nasty problem. Um, let's see if I can go ahead and finish off the last half of this. Let's see, let's see where our start place is. There it is, right there. So you should see some texture thrashing once you get a lot of this kind of smoothed out um, and you don't have so many clashes of different textures coming together in the same angle uh, that should do a lot of the texture thrash should go away which is when you can see through the map um, yeah that, that's what that is and the secret too when you're backing up don't leave your blade up leave it down push it down and if you put it up what it'll do is it'll start gathering uh, dirt from the side and throwing it in the center of the hill so I've seen a lot of people on streams will be doing that and be like, oh, <laughs> best the Padawan. He does not know the ways of the Force yet. <laughs> ah, what's up, Lee? Scan oh, yeah. Well, that's typical That's typical YouTube. Uh, yeah, Dustin. I, I mean, eventually I will. We just, you know, we had to get Farm Sim a break. There's too many other good stuff coming out. Um, you know, we got on an ATS kick there as well. I've got X Plane, the flight sim that I still that one's. I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. I'm I'm looking forward to it, um, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, mean, I you know especially now with the uh, the the platinum pack coming out, uh, should be fun. Should be a little bit more to do. Should be some new stuff. I mean mods have got insane. Uh, they're just like they're almost like not even you know. You talk about the bulldozer not being realistic, man. Those mods for farm sim ain't realistic. Those things are a joke. Uh, I would love to be bringing in X-Plane soon. Uh, I'm pretty much to the point where I'm almost I'm, I'm almost ready to start streaming it now. I'm still acquiring a few other things programming software-wise. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close. I, I'm, I like it, Jacob. Um, I like it a lot. I mean, I, I, I stream it all the time. It's fun. Oh, well, thank you there, Strato. Have a good man. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, yes, I am, Patrick. Oh, 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 oh. See the ramp building spent three hours here trying to figure it out. Well, there you go, Deuce. Well, I hope, uh, yeah, man, I hope, uh, is X-Plane the sim? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, let's look up X-Plane 11. Uh, it kind of give you an idea of what it is. It's, uh, FSX competitor, but, um, it is, uh, it's top notch. Alright, so yes, so like I said, Patrick, uh, once you start building the ramp that goes all the way down like this, you can hold it, like I'll, I'll show you right now, you can hold the down and it'll only keep on this grade, it will not dig into the ground anymore. Um, so once that blade, it's like that's as far down as it is, so as long as you start in the same place or start like maybe right over it, like maybe, I don't know, like that, lower it all the way down, you might catch up just a little bit of the ridge here or there. Um, just you know where you may, maybe you've made a ridge between the two um, and like a couple of passes will knock it out see I'll kind of widen out this bottom area just a little bit push it off to the end lift up then put the blade back down that way I don't catch any more dirt uh, and the same now you could start anywhere on this ridge if you don't want to go all the way to the top you can come back down here and you can literally just come through and smooth this out push it off and uh, there you go you got a nice good smooth uh, like I say, my, my thing is to make sure all the little spiky parts and the spiky bumps are gone. The big bumps you can get away with. Uh, Bulldozer, does, I mean, the uh, whatchamacallit doesn't really care about those, but it does care about the spiky ones. Y'all know those are like the, the death of any kind of vehicle, are these little spiky ones. There's one right here. Knock it out. Ew. All right. Good stuff right there. Um... Probably, but I don't seem to get a lot of pay out of my dirt anyway. Contacts, <laughs> I don't know that it necessarily matters. I don't know that I'm any the worse off doing it that way. 
Oh, well, thanks uh, there, QP754 Gaming. Appreciate that, man. Well, I try to be a little different. I try to be. Uh, I is a struggle when we're playing it. Well, you can download the free demo for x -Plane. x -Plane 11 does have a free demo. Go to xplane.com. x-plane.com. Go try the demo out. It's free. You can't really go wrong with free. Now, this one's already going to be different because I can tell I can't go back as far as that one. So, uh, we may have to, I don't know, we may have to finesse this one a little bit. We'll just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe it won't be too bad. Maybe. Let's try, let's just try starting right here. Oops. Let's do this. Hey, look at William. Hi, <laughs> calling it. <laughs> Oh, yes, dude. There's no way, uh, Deuce, man. There's no way you can do Dozer on the default. I, I you know, even as there's certain sense of me, like, I'm all supportive of the devs and stuff, but I cannot believe they assigned the, uh, the, the Bulldozer Blade up and down on the thumbstick that you steer with. So, once you make that, that change for the R1 and L1, as long as you keep that blade the same, it'll level no matter what. As long as you stay on top of that level, it'll level every bit of it out. So... Uh, it works from there, so I don't know. You have to let me know how you get along, man. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, all right. Woo I love it when things work. All right, now let it up. All right. All right, so that's fine. That's fine. It's not a big deal. We'll just bring the... Uh, We'll bring the uh, front end loader down. We'll just kind of scoop that off. Just kind of shear it off. And we'll have two ramps just straight in. That's oh, going to be slick. <laughs> save, save. All right, let's see. It'll look good when that that rock truck's going up here. Only thing is, I hope I've got enough there to uh, to make the turn. I think I do. Thing does take a pretty wide turn, but I, th I think I got enough. I think I got enough dirt there. I hope I do. <laughs> uh, well, uh, over what game there, Dustin? Gotta give me a choice there to choose. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> Well, it'll let, you, it'll let you fly around for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's worth it to see how it runs hardware-wise. I think it's a lot better optimized than FSX myself, and I think it looks prettier than default. Love it when the plan comes together. There you go, Billy. <laughs> it doesn't always happen when it does. We try to we try, we try to take care, credit for it around here. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That actually works there. So you can at uh, so here's the other secret with doing a ramp like this. At whatever time you want to stop the downwards the downward progression, just let off the blade control. So if you're holding down the blade down, just let off of it. Uh, and when you let off of it, oh shoot. There we go. Uh, so if you let off of it, then uh, then that's how you, that's how you fix it. All right, so maybe one or two more passes on this. Just want to get it a little. I wanted to get it a little bit wider. But once you get down to the bottom, then it's let off of it, and it kind of levels itself back out. So it takes a little practice, kind of getting that particular where that point is. Sometimes it's a little easier seen than others, depending on what the daylight's doing and uh, depending on where you're cutting that ramp down. Um, but yeah, this is going to look good. It's going to look really good. So so from here. The basic idea is that um, the excavator will be in the middle, front end loader will be down at the bottom of the hill, and we'll be literally cutting and digging all of this all the way back, all the way through here. Um, so we can load out that way, but once we get deeper on into the claim, 
this road will be a road that we can load into some of those outside parts of the claim. So that's kind of the idea of doing this. Uh, I'm not just, just, you know, just doing it to do it, so. All right, so maybe just a couple more little smooth outs, smooth outs here, and I think we'll pretty much be done with this. Uh, where we at now for, oh, you know what? And that's okay. I, I'm kind of meaning to just pile that up there. That way we can grab all that with the uh, grab all that with the, with the front end loader. This dozer doesn't move up. <laughs> Bulldozer see him. Well, there you go. Uh, well, you know, some people, you know, if you ever okay. So here's the thing about it, and this is why I do this. Um, because for me, uh, running running pay to the plants about as boring as it gets. Um, I, I hate it, really. I, I, I don't honestly do. But I know you guys want to see gold, and you want to see, oh, how much did you get this week, or how much work did you put in, how much you got. Because um, I don't blame you. I kind of want to see the same thing. Uh, but then part of it, too, for me is just a player. Um, it's really nice to see terrain creation. Because if you think about it, uh, PC, it doesn't matter, PC, console, uh, there are no games out there that are utilizing uh, that are utilizing a terrain deformation engine. Uh, spin tires is the only one as of now, uh, but that is not controllable controllable via you, the gamer. So it's there and it's part of the, the you know the, it's part of the game, uh, but it's not something that you can control. Uh, this one is, and that's kind of what separates this one over a lot of the rest of them. Um, even the farming games, they're only, you know, they're only controllable up to a certain amount. You really don't have that much control of them uh, when it comes to being able to move and push them around and, and do certain things like that. So, you know, when I first got into this game, I, this was the first thing that I literally went to because I thought this right here is the one thing that's going to either make or break this game for me uh, because, um, like I said, run and pay is extremely boring to me. And I don't really like it that much. It's better with a dump truck. Uh, but the one thing about it was this is where the creativity happens. So if you learn how to do the dozer, if I help in that, that you know, if I help in that endeavor, fine. Uh, if it makes you get that dozer out and try it enough to where you're like, hey, I just did what FTG did the other night. Oh, man, this was looking really good. Um, I can't believe I finally kind of figured out how to do this. Uh, well, then I feel like I've done my job. And I feel like I've pushed a little creativity out uh, enough to where you guys could take that, run with it, do your own thing with it, and enjoy the game. Uh, maybe even more so than you were before because now I don't have to just sit there and just dig a big hole, run pay, and figure out how to maximize. You know, at some point, it's like, let's go hop in the dozer and I'm going to do this tonight. Um, and then really make this around. And then people come out of the claim and they're like, whoa, what the heck's all this? And you're like, oh, yeah, we created that. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. So, well, think of that, Randy. Oh, yeah, Randy. Yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah, I like the concept of the construction sim. I, I, I'd love to see them come out with a, a new updated version of that. I see you there, Jace. <laughs> Tucker, where's the gold? <laughs> uh, I did there, Chevy. I had a great weekend. We took Saturday night off and came in strong tonight for a good stream. So you guys have definitely shown up, shown out support seven away there from our sub goal so we, i'd like to try to see if we can hit that we've got a brand new look down here below me so all of our uh subscribers here we've got an actual live youtube counter there so it is actually pulling everything live right on the money uh so we can see that happen in uh in in, in real time so it's pretty cool so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and if you've enjoyed what you've seen here if you've learned something here from the bulldozer hit that subscribe button make sure you like the video uh, we've got a lot coming uh, here more, especially this week with Gold Rush. We've got a new schedule in place, uh, so we'll have some new setups. We've still got this claim, and we still got uh, Pine Valley claim. We've even got a little surprise we're going to reveal there on Pine Valley here, that, and maybe maybe tomorrow if I can get it set up. Um, but that's just a couple things there to look forward to. So if you see Pine Valley come up, definitely click on that video and come check it out because I think you're going to like it. Uh, what do I do with, with uh, tailings? Well, I guess there's a couple things you can do. Uh, the easiest when they say shovel them up, put them in the magnet tight, and sell them. Uh, although I typically just take the bulldozer and run over them. 
<laughs> it's typically the one I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you know. I'll look at Clint. Oh, <laughs> uh, I will look. Someone said, "Hey, we don't want to be a part of this." <laughs> hey, I'm good there, Incline. How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Incline. That's one of the catchiest logos I've seen there. The way of spelling that. Hey, what's up, Def? How are you there, bud? Yeah, we actually should be a morning behind now, so we, we should be better on the uh, better on the time constraints there, man. Click said, I want to be sub. Oh, someone someone came. Oh, someone keeps going back and forth. <laughs> well, that's all right, man. That's all right. Don't worry about that. I there's there's quite a few names, man. I, I completely killed them in the first part. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No subbacks, no subbacks. <laughs> oh, Clint says, I'll wait. All right, so there's one uh, gracious there subscriber coming in there with a live, uh, a, a, a live subscription there. So appreciate that. Trying to get that 6400 gold there. Oh, man. Incline with a big uh, sponsorship, man. That's, uh, man. that's great of him, man. I appreciate that. That is absolutely awesome, man. So I, I wanted to hit him with sponsorship goals here by... Uh, my, my goal was hoping this weekend, so it looks like that is going to happen. Um, I, I, you know, I never want to push that stuff too much. That's, man, that's okay, Tucker, man. I, I, I can take a joke, man. I can take it. Don't worry. Uh, wash six mosses at 95. <laughs> it can be, yeah. <laughs> I hate to say that, but yeah, it can be. I'm going to I'm gonna have to approach that one from the other side. <laughs> How do I make the game look so easy? Um, there it is, man. Thanks to Incline there for your sponsorship. That is awesome, man. Yes, sir, Rebob. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, pucker factor on that one was 120. Uh, you know, I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll tell you why. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good at it. Let's see, how many hours do I have in this game so far? Gold Rush. I have 131 hours. So there you go. Most of that spent with y'all. Most of it. Um, about 18 straight days of streaming. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just kept working with it until I figured out what I needed to do to make certain things work. Um, make it work the way I wanted it to work. Uh, that was probably one of the bigger ones. Uh, and the bigger things to do. So I just, just stay with it, man. Just stay with it. I, I, how about this? I, I'll make it look easy, and then at least you know it can be done, and it's not impossible. I know it's frustrating, man. Trust me, dude. Trust me, I know. <laughs> oh, you like the nice save? Yes, the save is there from uh, courtesy of Mr. Nick T. That's an awesome job over there with our emotes. I'm <laughs> still upside down. He's bone for the bank. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a noble force. South Africa's overslept for the love of the streams. Oh, man. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate that. South Africa, we talking like, uh, yeah, well, never mind. Never mind. I'm not even going to say that. Never mind. Let's forget I even was going to say that. Probably knows what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, yes, Clint, I would second that. Um, if you can, grab you up a controller. Um, Xbox, uh, I think 360 or the one or PS3 or 4, I think all... I think all of those work, I think. I, I do, man, and thank you there, Incline, for your sponsorship, man. I certainly appreciate that. Certainly appreciate it, man. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the team, man. Mm. Uh, yes, the mosses seem... Yes, they do. And, and honestly, the, the, the jig is probably the easiest way to... The jig is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, I mean, I've, I've tried, used to be, well, used to the, there was like the glitch where people were utilizing that, um, let's say, why am I not going away? I didn't have the, uh, have our diff lockdown. Um, you know, people were having issues there where they were, they were cleaning out the mats like, you know, six and seven, you know, eight, nine times, and they were getting a massive amount to go with them. So they readjusted the values that those things gave. Which I don't blame them. I probably would have done the same thing if, as a developer. Um, but um, I know blast me for doing all this. But yes, I, I just want to get this cleaned up. <laughs> Thank you there, John Turner. Appreciate it, man.
Three and a half, gonna catch you tomorrow to work at three and a half. Woo, boy, okay. <laughs> I hear you, man. I think I got, I got, uh, straight wired, not recharged. Yes. Yeah, that's right, George. I, I, I forgot what I was talking about something. Uh, four seasons in here, and there's snow. Uh, so, Zach, uh, not yet, but will be in the future. How about that? And it's not yet, but it will be in the future. And that is confirmed. <laughs> As confirmed via B and in here uh, in the streams there with the developer. <laughs> Milka TV, guten tag. Bill Coleman. All right, Bill Coleman. I think so. It's early, you day. <laughs> it's early. You can't see your keys. I hear you, man. Uh, wasn't I let you sponsor? Um. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you're trying to do it or um, anything. If you want to do it on mobile, you got to use the gaming app. It will let you sponsor from there. Other than that, you just got to hit the big green button and enter your, uh, you know, your credit card details that it's going to pull from. Um, other than that, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it does, Randall. I was noticing that earlier. I was like, wow. <laughs> quite a suspension it's got on there what's up jerry trucking how are you man zilkerman is <laughs> there you go job <laughs> now always uh you know like i always say, i try to say a little something i don't know a lot but i'll try to say a little something in native tongue uh, what it, uh, if you're using the gaming app, there's a big green button that says sponsor. Um, someone maybe that sees it on the mobile app can maybe help out there. There's not an actual link to the sponsor. It's just a big button and you push it on the, it's in the app. It may be at like the very bottom of the description or something. I'm not exactly sure. I hate to say that, but I really don't, I really don't know. <laughs> Hi there, QP. Have a good man. Oh, uh, well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you hopping in, man, and hanging out with us for a while. We have to do it again. Uh, tonight's all about just getting everything really just set up. We'll probably go ahead tomorrow, just to give you guys a clue in, we'll probably go ahead and start loading in some of our items um, and go ahead and get some of Arnold ready to rock and roll. Uh, and maybe if we can go ahead and start running a few loads in tomorrow, we certainly will do that. Uh, and also got to move some stuff over at Rivertown. So that's another thing we got to do as well. So... Uh, we definitely got a, a a little bit uh you know a little bit here that we're going to need to going to need to run in and, and get some things done so let's see that's why I, I might just go ahead and just i might just pull all this off here let's just go straight in and just take it off there we go that that worked Now my day's been great. My day has been great, man. Been a good Sunday. Getting ready for the work week here, so well, other than that, I mean, you know. <laughs> Along with that aside, I'm kind of happy to be streaming. I appreciate the uh, you guys let me have a night off from work last night. <laughs> oh dang it! I thought I was far enough there. I wouldn't have to worry about that. All right, so I think what is going to happen here, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think what is going to happen is they are going to, unless I can get past this way, I think this is on the tailings part, so um, I might actually be, well, I'm not stuck, but I might have to actually run this dirt into the, and go dump it elsewhere on the claim. So that might be an interesting, uh, Come on, come on, come on. Might be interesting there, having to do that. Uh, come on. If I can pick off this little bit of dirt here. See if I can get enough to get over there. Come on, get that tire up there. There we go. Come on. Yeah, usually if you get this wheel loader stuck, just keep wiggling back and forth. Eventually it'll, it'll crawl itself up on the hole there. 
Yeah, just the truck. I don't, no cars yet. Um, it's, it's all still still the same stuff. They had another truck I think they were going to bring in, but I don't, I don't think it's uh, in the like, content drop yet. I don't believe it's ready yet. Oh, yeah. Well, we certainly can uh, set that up, especially after the new stuff comes out. Um, hey, what's up, Def? We're at the Arnold Claim. Um, trying to my redo there on my, since I actually restarted everything. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, after the new Platinum stuff comes out here, uh, well, we might be able to set up some uh, some multiplayer stuff. We certainly can. And Tim Miller, thank you for your subscription. Three away there from 6400. Let's make that happen for the end of the night. We're only two hours in, so... Uh, it's awesome, guys. Yeah, two more. Well, three more. It's kind of funny when you got that. You got to, like... You can't always pay attention to that because YouTube always allows people to unsub and then resub and it gets annoying. Uh, but the live counter found out that it, it fluctuates a lot more in the day than I would like to watch it. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh my god, look at all these people. I was like, oh, oh. It's like 15 people go away and 15 people come on. It's weird. <laughs> you like the box under the camera? Well, cool, yeah. Uh, so we got a sponsorships there. It's 32 out of 35. And then all of our recent sponsors and subs and all that other good stuff see there's another one so it's just that that constant you got six uh almost 6400 people and you don't know which one's unsubscribed so it's weird man I, I don't know that i like it all that much but i do like the fact that it's more real time than any of the rest of them. <laughs> uh what what is gr is that uh what's grtg2 they'd cut out from the right side uh, yeah oh, mike could I think uh, my problem was I wasn't able to get over this because um, I think what it's it's allowing me to dump it further than I thought I really could. Oh, Gold Rush the game. Oh, um, I think he said uh, w within a year, something like that. And Samuel, thank you there, buddy, for your subscription. Yeah, it looks like they're having fun with it now. Yeah, yeah. May maybe. I, I kind of, that's what I mean, Chief. I don't, I, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I mean, it's fine, y'all. No, no. First time I've ever really been messing with it. I just wanted to kind of pro it up a little bit. Um, you know, kind of get the stream looking a little better, a little more compact. And, uh, you know, we kind of got rid of the sub goal, the sub goal kind of moving towards the sponsorship goal. So um, just, just trying to, you know, sub goals are good, but, I mean, they're not really that important. You know, they don't, don't really amount to views and don't really amount to much of anything except guys that you know said hey I want to I want to see at least what this guy's doing from time to time so um, not that they're not appreciated don't get me wrong on that comment that kind of sounded a lot worse when I said it than it was when I thought about it <laughs> Woo! Uh, farm sim or gold rush or GTA well definitely not GTA right now I used to love GTA on console uh, not so much on PC I find it uh, you know different weird maybe um farm sim yeah gold rush right now yes well thank you there is that uh dessert rat desert rat yeah desert rat took a while now yeah desert rat well thank you man appreciate it uh well thank you there chris greer appreciate your subscription there bud yeah but we do like farm sim i, I mean i kind of like them all the same it's just Content for Gold Rush is new right now, and uh, once content, some other stuff become new with Farm Sim, it'll yeah, it'll be good, and, and everyone will love it for a while, and everything will play its cycle. It always does. Uh, that is a completely loaded question there, Tin Man. But my take on it is explain eleven all the way. Um, mainly just because of all the uh, time that you can log with uh, explain eleven that the FAA says, hey, we'll include that flight time. Um, not all flight seem to get that, so. <clears throat> but I've played both, and each, each to their own. I, I, it's like I always tell people when it comes to FSX discussions versus X-Plane. Usually whatever you've invested in the most is what I say stay with. <laughs> yeah, because you know, as well as I do, Sims, they take a lot of money. Uh, they take a lot of dedication. And, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Love it, love the stuff, Ryan. Well, thanks, bud. Appreciate it, man. Hey, what's up, Nate? Uh, things are going well. 
we are literally bulldozing the heck out of Arnold right now. So we are just finishing up our uh, ramp here, which I think is pretty much done. I'm just going to make one more pass there on the left side and, and cut some of that right off the top. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am really happy with how things today have gone. Especially doing them live. Sometimes, you know, it's sometimes they don't always go as they get planned. But we've had a few little snafus today and we've been able to work through them and being able to use those as teachable moments on the stream. So that's uh, it's even better. Even better. Uh, yes, Patrick. Uh, probably. Um, I actually... Uh, YouTube doesn't really like Call of Duty and Battlefield in those games anymore um, just because they're trying to remain all family friendly um, and they don't like the uh, the constant violence and the, the blood and the headshots and all that other crap so they, they typically don't really uh, allow those channels to succeed so they always make them go to Twitch um, <clears throat> but I do have a Twitch channel I just don't have anything on it so I don't know maybe if I do plan it play it on my uh on my you know if i play it on my my regular time maybe i'll just stream it to twitch so you know maybe if i'm doing some cod if i get it and actually feel confident enough to actually stream my skills <laughs> i might just let you guys know <laughs> hey what's up chris uh war thunder yeah eh, not really i'm not a big fan of war thunder uh, no, I'm not a big fan of, uh, I've watched some of the squad, uh, I've watched some of that gameplay, I, yeah. I, I still just, I, I like McCauley, I like the, I like the fast paceness of it, I don't like to just sit there and, um, you know, I don't like to camp, I like to get out, I like to move and groove, and, uh, you know, fast class setups, those kinds of things, I just, uh, I don't know, some of that stuff just is too, too, too military, it's too real time, too, too strategic. I'm like, I ain't got time for all this, man. So I got two hours. We got a kid that's crying now and standing up in the bed and crying. I was like, yeah, we got to get this and we got to roll. <laughs> that's the name of the game right now. We got to get this and we got to get out and roll. Uh, I think so too, Chief. I think so too. I tell you what, ironically, they have flagged a ton of my Gold Rush videos. I, mean, I guarantee you half the Gold Rush videos, I've not earned a single cent on monetization for these videos. Um, I don't know if YouTube just, I, I have no idea. Manual requested reviews, and it's like, oh, we'll get to that in a week. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, any good gamer YouTubers? Um, depends on what you're in the mood for. Uh, most gamer YouTubers, uh, depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for guys that do the shoot 'em up games or whether or not you're looking for sim, guy, uh, sim, sim guys, uh, depends on what you're looking for. Because most guys, variety channels do fairly well, but you got to stay within the genre of the variety, which is why I will not stream Call of Duty on this channel because most guys come here because they want to see, you know, they want to see the other stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't get it either, Patrick. Now, once they're manually requested, they, they, they go right away. It's like, uh, yeah, you saw what I was digging imaginary dirt <laughs> with a bulldozer. Oh yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, fed up with the running out, get shot, <laughs> running out, get shot. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Dad. You got, well, you got to be the one that runs out and does the shooting. That's what you got to do. Um, with live people. Oh, yeah, Tin Man. Yeah, they've got two different versions. Pilot Edge, which is also... Uh, Pilot Edge is also FSX uh, compatible. Uh, as well as VATSIM. So, they've got VATSIM. Where you've, it's a little more on the free side. And Pilot Edge is actually a paid uh, Pilot AC program. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. I actually know the developer of that one in the... The guy that's running the show over there, Keith Smith, he's a wonderful guy. Um, he's one of the best guys I've ever met in the, the online flying community. So I'll be looking for me to be streaming a lot of that from Pilot Edge uh, as well, pushing that myself here on the channel. It's going to be, I hope that's going to be some big old, big old fun, big old, big times. Looking forward to that one a lot. All right, cool. I am completely, that's like almost a pro skiff job right there. You don't really, you don't find it that way in real life, no better than that. Um, 
Oh, one more sub. Come on, somebody's got to bring in a big old fat sub. Somebody was waiting to be number... <laughs> ah, there it is. Somebody hit it. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are... So, someone was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, Clint got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Frugal Sim's good. I'll tell you another guy that's good. It's Cat Strader. Uh, Cat Strader is a really good flight simmer. Uh, it does X-Plane. So if you're looking for on that side of the fence... Uh, Frugal Sim does a lot, a little bit more with FSX. Uh, Jeff Favinano does a lot with, uh, does some stuff there with it as well. Born Innocent, thank you. Oh, well, then, sorry, we got a couple coming in. So, Clint Galpin, thank you there for your subscription, Mr. 6400. And then, Mr., uh, coming in, Born Innocent. Coming in there, arriving in the stream right on time, 6401. So, thank you, guys. Yeah, man. Eric says, save immediately. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, actually, you know what? i tell you what. I think this is going to be perfect. Uh, let's just call this a stopping point. Uh, perfect two-hour stream. Literally are done. So here, let's just recap a little what we've got. Let's look at what we're going to do this week. Uh, I want to just kind of, I want to talk, for, especially if you're new. Hang on. Don't go anywhere yet. Um, <clears throat> I just want to set one more thing up for you. I want to show you guys what we're going to be doing uh, so that you guys can come back and continue to come back and watch some of these streams here as we progress through this. Um, so here is Arnold Claim. We've got both ramps built in today. We've got a complete road all the way around the place. Let's I'll tell you what, let's let's hop into dump truck. Why not? Let's take a ride and see if we're okay on the dump truck. Ah, I love it. Are you going to bed? Alright there, Dustin. No problem, man. Sleep tight. Alright, let's see how the road drives. All right, so here would be your your main load in. Do you come up either side there? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it when things work like they're supposed to. So anywhere in here. So um, essentially from uh, so essentially from here, <laughs> 2365. Uh, it's, that's good, man. That's good. Um, so essentially from here, you kind of get a good nice burn. I'll see how far we can get off. Oh, that's as far as we can get back. So from here, you can kind of see the, the full shape of the claim. So we've got two ramps running straight down. Uh, and everything, so every, think about it, everything out of this corner, out of the inside, is going to be taken away. Now, um, what I plan on doing is doing some, hmm, something to where we either put the excavator down in the hole and dig out, or we put it and leave it here on the road and then dig down off to the side um, and then, um, and then either shear off or do something of that nature. But anyway, this is a good place. So, uh, from this point, what I would like to do is have a load in road somewhere. So that neither goes in off this side, goes in off this side. So we'll cross the road like this, and then we'll bring another road and go down this way with it to, to take us down into the hole. So this will be progressive. So as we remove some of this dirt, move it to the plant, uh, and wash it and get the gold from it. We will continue to work our way down. Now, I don't know. Sometimes when you pile all of this dirt up, it does give you the little texture thrashing. I don't know if it's going to let us see down inside here. Sometimes it does if you get in here and just kind of like maneuver around a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, it probably won't because I need it to happen right now. But anyway, this is one of the deepest claims, and especially on the front side there where the front loader is. Uh, it really just continues to go straight down. So <clears throat> essentially what I'm kind of thinking of, we'll use the front end loader and the excavator to start a cut, and then we'll take that cut directly square back, and we'll just keep backing the excavator up. We'll dig off, dump right into the truck, and then take it off. So at first we won't be using the ramps, but we'll get back into using them uh, soon here later. So um, let's see. Let's get back. There we go. I like this view. This is good. It gets a good little view of the, the claim here. So most of all this in the middle has been untouched. So we'll still take the... Uh, usually what I like to do, especially as we're clearing out this stuff, we'll take and we'll bulldoze us just a square that kind of goes into the cut. And then we'll take the excavator and we'll dig and use that as kind of our backup being uh, there for the, the dump truck. So we'll back our truck up in. That way we can load a lot of that extra dirt. And that way we can use the roads that we've done. And depending on where we put that, uh, we can always have a road going whichever way. We can have a pullout going wherever we want to go. And that way we'll have two uh, separate roads down into the claim. So that's kind of the idea. So I think as we move in tomorrow, I think what we need to do tomorrow is call tomorrow a setup day. So let's see when we get all the tier three stuff in, at least bought, we get it all laid out. We get our cables, we get all of our excavator moving and stuff here. 
uh, and then we'll start moving some stuff in. Uh, at least, I don't know, we'll, we'll at least do that. Is that, uh, is that Firat Bektus? Bektus? Firat Bektus? Uh, thank you for your subscription. I uh, hope I didn't, I hope I didn't completely uh, kill your, your name there. Uh, so we'll move all of our stuff and get our mind set up. So if we get everything set up and start running some pay and see how our roads travel, I'm good with that. And also, Rivertown, we got some of that to do this week. So as we start maneuvering and doing both claims, we'll just switch some equipment back and start loading in both. So the one thing about it is uh, what I would like to do, especially for those guys that are new, that have never seen, uh, maybe has never seen a stream, or you've never you know, done whatever, um, the one thing is what I like to do is try to do a cleanup and we do a giveaway. So we've got four weeks worth of giveaways here that I want to start on Fridays. A uh, couple in, we'll do a couple in closer to Christmas, and I've got two more here recent that we're going to do. So if you want to sponsor that way, you want to give a, a donation like to a, uh, you know, like a 15 or a $20 or some type of a Steam gift card or something like that, or even a copy of Gold Rush, that kind of thing. Uh, if you're looking to sponsor towards the channel that way and, and allow that to be done as a giveaway for a Friday night, let me know. Uh, emails Full Tilled Farming. I'll put it down here just in case anybody wants to know. Uh, and if you are watching later on, it is Full Tilled Farming at gmail.com. I'll put that there in the uh, the chat there as well. And obviously, if you want to, you can comment. Say, hey, I'm interested in doing that. Let me know what I need to do. Uh, it's always great when guys play it in. And Laxmi, is that a Fasikawa? Uh, thank you there for your subscription as well. I hope I got your name halfway close and halfway right. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we'll spend these weeks, and what we'll do is Friday we'll come together. We'll have a big old view for the stream, uh, hopefully. And then we'll bring all the gold from all the claims in throughout the week and then have one big massive cleanup on Friday. Now, if we need to finish off running a little bit of dirt, we can. Uh, once we finish running off, what do we have? And maybe after an hour or so. Boom, let's clean it up. Let's see how much we got. We should have some big amounts, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll see what, you know, we'll kind of see where that goes. Uh, if it's good and you guys are like, hey, this is pretty awesome, uh, we will have that more often. Uh, I think that's something I would really like to do. So let me know what you think. Let me know if that's something you want to do. Uh, and I would be glad to help facilitate that in any way possible. Uh, but I think tomorrow's going to be a good setup day. Let's get everything in. Let's get everything running. Let's get everything working. Uh, let's get our cables and everything hooked up, our electrical generators, all that stuff hooked up, uh, and then we'll be ready to roll. So a lot of people like to do that. So, yes, have a great night there. See you, uh, Silly Sally. Thank you there, Jake. Appreciate it, bud. Someone asked what I do for my day job. Well, we've got some commercial property, uh, musician uh, kind of part-time-ish, uh, this part-time-ish, although I'd love for it to be a little bit more. Uh, but as, you know, you guys keep rolling out that support, um, it's, it's becoming a little more ish and a little more like, hey, this is becoming, this can be a good thing here. So uh, it brings joy to my heart, to my soul, because it's what I love doing. I love playing. I love communicating with you guys. I love hanging out with chat. Uh, well, thank you there, Clint. I appreciate it, man. Uh, it helps to have good guys in here, and it helps to have uh, good, uh, I say good guys, plural, uh, and ladies as well. Um, it just it just helps having good chat here. Sponsorships, uh, super chats, man, the, the amount of support you guys pour out almost every night now. It's just, it's, like I said, it's humbling, uh, and uh, it, it really does. I appreciate it, and it makes me want to do my job better. So thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for me tonight. So I hope all of that laid out there. I hope that's something you guys really want to plug into. Uh, you know, like I said, plug in FTG. That's my little, that's my little, uh, my little catchphrase there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up, get some things cleaned up here off stream. Uh, and then I'm going to get things set up, and we're going to get ready to rock and roll tomorrow night. Score, it's good to see you there. Uh, but says save. Yes, sir. No problem. Saving right now. Yeah, chat was great. Yes, Ness. It always is, Def. Uh, chat's always fantastic. And sub goal was hit tonight. And 32 of 35 sponsors tonight as well. Uh, oh, let me just throw those shout outs real quick to those guys that did, uh, that threw a little into the pot today. Uh, I don't ever want to forget that. I always do that, uh, and just pull that off there at the end. So, uh, da, 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 da. so, so stepped, uh, what is that GM? I thought oh, it's gotta be Sam at game, game of something. Anyway, donated five, uh, I believe it was pretty British, British pounds. Uh, and then Riley plays come in and, uh, congratulated on 6,300, which he should have wrote 6,400 because you guys have already done that tonight. So that's awesome. Hey, a $5 from him. Core Games, a $20 super chat, as well as a sponsorship on a second channel, plus his original channel. And Tracks Lux, 
come in with a $5 Super Chat. Thank you there to you, Trax. Andrew James as well. Core Game second account sponsored. Billy Kibble, new sponsor. Incline was a new sponsor today. So absolutely huge show of support today, guys. Um, absolutely huge. So thanks, yeah. Uh, it's me, Mario. It's Rhino. All right, well, good to see you there, Rhino. Gossip Bulldogs, there you go. Well, I hope uh, you guys can use any of that info. That's why I put it out there, and that's why I want to I want to do whatever I can. If you want to, hit me up on at Full Tilt on Twitter. Uh, if you got a Twitter account, hit me up at Full Tilt. That is, let me just put it in here and spell it out there. I don't have the, uh, the stuff on there anymore. <clears throat> I need to get my Nightbot to do this. At Full Tilt, there it is. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, tweet me some of your picks. If y'all guys start figuring out the bulldozer and y'all start putting some uh, images together and whatnot, go ahead and hit it up. I want to see them. I want to see what you guys are doing. I want to see what you're creating. And who knows? I might even retweet or showcase one of those as maybe something that's going on in the beginning of the stream. Who, who the heck knows? Uh, stop. <laughs> Watch. All right, man. Well, I hope you guys pick something up. All so, yes, Kenneth, we'll see you, man. Uh, you guys are always me, Mario, signing off. Adios. That was my Mario impression. That was maybe was kind of terrible. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just doing the thing. Just do the thing. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing, baby. We'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Y'all peace out. We'll see you.